It's like the boardwalk of BattleBolt space and you probably haven't found anything useful to put there until now. What is up everybody, Benoit here. Welcome to Tactical Fellowship. Hey, I wanna show you a cool little tourniquet holder if you have not yet already seen this by Soil Eater. It's their version two and it goes right in front here, right around the outer belt. It is designed for the inner belt, outer belt type system with Velcro on the back of the pouch to attach to the front of your inner belt. What I love about this tourniquet holder is that it takes up some really underutilized belt space on my battle belt, which is right up front there, which is really prime real estate that has really been dead space for years and years and years. As long as I've been using a belt, I've never put anything there until now. So this goes right in front, just to sleep, just goes right around and then that tourniquet just slips right into that. And I also love that you can put that Sharpie marker right above it because you know to write the time on the tourniquet. And then also who doesn't need a Sharpie when you're just out at the range with the boys marking your, your hits and all that. So I really, really love how I'm now utilizing that board walk, if you will, and putting a hotel on it instead of just leaving it vacant. The other thing that I really like about this is that on my belts, at least with the large Ronin belt that I'm using, I don't have any Velcro backer at that point on the belt because it's getting near the buckle. And so what this does is it adds actually more Velcro so that I have a, I have more attachment now in the front of my belt right there in the front by the buckle, which is really nice because it just gives some extra stability right there. The way I have my tourniquet oriented is towards my handgun. Basically, I'm using my holster as a block so that the tourniquet, if it wanted to, not saying it would, can't just fall out. And also too, to kind of preserve the wings of the tourniquet thing, that if I had it face the other way and I went prone, man, that stuff is getting pushed on by all my muscle girth, right in the dirt. I also put my pen in the same way that I would the tourniquet, and this is just to kind of build muscle memory. If I have my pen going one way and my tourniquet going the other way, I feel like in a high stress situation, I'm gonna be all confused. The only thing that I wonder about is that the edges here are fraying a little bit after only some casual use. I don't know if that'll ever be a big deal. It's not fraying, they're more just the elasticity is kind of getting flabby, like flabby arms. Not saying it's a big deal, not saying it's gonna affect the product, but that's just something to keep an eye on. So I'm really, really enjoying this product. This is a huge win for my belt. I've already bought two, both my belts have it on there. Tourniquet is from Warrior Poet Society. I've bought it from them because I love the guys over there and what they're doing at Warport Central and I love supporting them any way I can. And I just, I'm sick of buying fakes off of Amazon and I buy from the people that I want to support for what kind of culture they're building. And I know Jeff Bezos is not building the culture that I want to see building. Yo's. As always, I hope this is useful to you. I hope you are being awesome. I hope you're not being too harsh on those around you. Sometimes I am, and I don't need to be. Remember, they're God's servant, not yours. It's okay to have opinions, but don't be too harsh. All right, guys, as always, right fast, you straight. We'll see you next time.